This is Jose with Oakland Latinos United, a.k.a. Oakland Latinos Unidos, on here with a new video for you guys to enjoy. Well, I haven't been on here for a while because I've been kind of busy. I wanted to do some new spills, some new videos, but I just haven't had a chance to be on YouTube. I've done a few live feeds, but I'm going to try to do some more spills for this, for this upcoming week and the next week. So I'll try to get you guys more stories, more spills out there because I wanted this channel to continue. I don't want it to taper off like it did in the past. But anyway, the video that I'm going to make today is called The Railroads of Oakland. And there's a reason why I call it that. It was something that I was thinking about. I noticed it all my life growing up in Oakland and in the Bay Area. I was always surrounded by the, by the railroads, by the trains. Even now, still living in the East Bay, I live not too far from railroad tracks. And you could actually hear the train from time to time when I'm doing my live feeds. But, um... Growing up on East 7th Street when I was a kid and also living on Chapman Street, the railroads were right all around me. You know what I mean? There used to be the, the, the main line on uh, Fruit Bell Lab, which back in the days it was the Southern Pacific later. It was the Union Pacific. The tracks, there used to be a, a line that used to go down Fruit Bell and turn, and it used to go down this street called Glasscock, not too far from East 7th Street. And, um, yeah, man, there was just, they were just always around me. You know, and I remember when we would go down to the bay, the waterfront, down at the end of Peterson Street by the Fruitvale Bridge, there used to be a bunch of warehouses there by the old SPCA, and they used to park boxcars there. And I remember we would play on them, we would climb on them and ride our bikes around them, you know what I mean? So the trains were always there, and um, the reason why there's so many railroad tracks and train tracks in Oakland is because if you know Oakland's history, Oakland used to be a factory town, a working man's town. There used to be a lot of warehouses, a lot of manufacturing jobs. There used to be military bases, you know what I mean, factories, all kinds of stuff there. And not only that, Oakland used to be the terminus of the railroad in the West Coast in Northern California. So all trains coming into the West Coast would end in Oakland. And if you were trying to get to San Francisco before the Bay Bridge was there, you had to cross on a ferry, and later on you'd cross it on the bridge. But Oakland was the terminus of the railroad in California, in Northern California, in the Bay Area. And, um, you know, Oakland has a big railroad yard in West Oakland. And uh, one story, the first story I'm going to tell you is that my grandfather, I don't talk much about him, but my grandfather was a bracero, and that was a guest worker program that happened during World War II. The majority of braceros worked in the fields, but my grandfather was part of a, a, a bracero movement program that brought them to the railroads and to the shipyards. And he worked for the Southern Pacific Railroad in West Oakland. And he stayed in a, um, in a camp over there off of Pine Street. And he came, I believe, in 1943. That's my grandfather, Eliseo Lopez. So he worked all up and down, fixing the train tracks all up and down. Richmond, San Pablo, Port Costa, Crockett, Martinez. You know what I mean? All the way through San Leandro, Hayward. They would work all up and down the lines, fixing the train tracks. And you got to remember, this is during World War II. And there were labor shortages because everyone was out fighting the war. You know what I mean? So they brought out a lot of African Americans to the Bay Area, a lot of Braceros, a lot of Chicanos from, the, from from like Texas, New Mexico. And the reason they would bring them is because the railroad would bring them right here into Oakland. You know what I mean? So my grandfather worked all up and down the Bay Area for the railroad during World War II. He told me that he even ended up all the way in Pennsylvania and he worked for the Pennsylvania Railroad out there in, in Philadelphia. So he had went as far as Philadelphia with the rails. He ended up going back to Mexico and then my mom came later on in life to Oakland. But the first family member to come to Oakland was my grandfather and he came to West Oakland. Besides that, I can remember when I was a kid, the trains used to pass right by, like I said, a street called Glasscock, which was like three blocks down from East 7th Street. And I remember they would pass down that street going slow, going to the cement factory. And I remember we used to jump on them. We were crazy. We used to jump on them when they're going slow in the back and ride them all the way to the 7-Eleven by, by, uh, by 29th, by the Park Street Bridge. And then we would jump off it. We were fucking crazy. And I remember the last time I seen someone do that was this one homie of mine from East 7th Street named Fat. 
a train was passing by there, I would say 2005, I want to say. And that fool jumped on it from Peterson all the way to the 7-Eleven. I was like, this motherfucker. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, the trains were always around us, for sure. And also, growing up, I used to always hear stories about people breaking into the trains and stealing shit from them. I used to hear it from family members. I used to hear it from homies in the hood. You know what I mean? My brothers used to talk about it. And, uh, you know, people used to do that because back in those days, they used to park boxcars everywhere in Oakland. They used to park, a lot of them, they used to park them by Jingle Town off of, off of 23rd by the railroad tracks over there. And um, these boxcars would, would be loaded coming from the factories and warehouses in Oakland, and they'd be loaded with food and different things. I remember one one time, some guys, I'm not going to say who, had told me that they had stolen some TVs from the train track. They had opened up a train and it had TVs, and they took a bunch of them, and I guess sold them. And I could sworn I remember seeing somebody walking down the street with a big TV <laughs> that they had taken from the train, possibly. You know what I mean? And, you know... They had those box cards all up and down the deep east. You got to remember Mother's Cookies, Granny Goose, and so many other warehouses used to be all up and down uh, Oakland, East Oakland, and West Oakland as well. Now, I remember another incident where I'm not going to say anybody's name or anything like that, but somebody, I believe they took some cereal from a box car. You know what I mean? And, um, we got a bunch of boxes of those cereals. And I remember there were shredded wheat, Kellogg shredded wheat. I remember it clearly. And we had a whole bunch of them. And we kept some for ourselves. And then we gave the rest to people in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? People that lived on East 7th Street, our neighbors. You know, and a lot of kids remember that. They remember my family giving them cereal boxes. Matter of fact, one time on Facebook, someone remembered me and said, Hey, Jose, I remember when you guys gave out the cereal boxes. I was like, damn, I had totally forgot about that. But yeah, man, we had gotten some cereals. I don't know where they came from. They might have came from from boxcars. But, you know, that was just how Oakland was back in the 80s, you know, and 90s. And then um, besides that, I remember I heard another story that I, I've heard from older people. I've never really knew anyone personally in my circle that told me that they were part of this or seen it, but I've heard it from a lot of people, and I believe even like the Black Panthers might have talked about it, Huey Newton and Bobby Seale, and that was, people would say that they would find boxcars in East Oakland, West Oakland, and in, in, in Richmond, and they would be full of guns. Where these guns came from, I don't know, but they would have hella guns. And people would come on the boxcars and steal the guns. And the conspiracy theory was that the, the guns were put there by the CIA or the FBI to neutralize groups like the Black Panthers, like the Chicano Movement, the Brown Berets, the Chicano Revolutionary Party, and all the other movements that were going on at the time. Now, I've heard this story from a lot of people from Oakland and Richmond. Like I said, I've never met no one personally in my circle that actually seen the boxcars with guns. But I heard that story. And I'm sure a lot of you out there that are older probably heard these stories as well. Or maybe you've seen it for yourself. Leave it in the comments. But, um, yeah, I remember hearing about that. Like I said, there might be some truth to it. Who's to say it's not true? You know, we do know about COINTELPRO and we do know about the FBI and the CIA flooding the hoods with drugs to support wars in Central America. So you never know, man. And um, yeah, man, that's just, you know, some of the adventures around the railroads that I have. Like I said, my life always seemed to be around the railroads. I've even traveled on the rail a lot. Just always had a fascination with trains. I don't know why. That's actually me in West Oakland. Wearing a Oakland A's uh, uh, sweatsuit. That was the Oakland Terminal Railway. That was at the Oakland Army Base in West Oakland. I used to work there. My ex-girlfriend took that picture. We was kicking back right there. But, um, yeah, man, that train used to come into the old Army Base over there in West Oakland off of Maritime. 
and they used to take, you know, trains, boxcars, and stuff. So now today, in today's world, they don't really have boxcars. They don't use them anymore. You know what I mean? Now they use those containers that come from the ports. So that's why you don't see boxcars like you used to. But when I was a kid, they were everywhere. They were all over Oakland. You used to see them everywhere, all up and down the rail lines. And yeah, dudes used to get over on them, for sure. Homies in the town. And that's just town business. That's just a little collection for you guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. Have you ever heard those stories? You know, let me know. All of this is just town business. Late.